What's going on guys? So today's video, you can see that I have a special guest. Who are you? Uh, we're Sam from Handsome Smell. So I'm actually here in the good old London. So we're actually going to be meeting up with some of the other guys later today. Yeah. So Greg, uh, Dan, Raj, uh, and uh, some of the yeah. others. Yeah. So today's fragrance review is actually his choice. Uh, I didn't initially want to do this <laughs> one because I hate food. There you go. So today we're going to be doing from the house of Ferrari, we're going to be doing Ferrari Essence Oud. So Wasim has been wearing this one for the last hour or so, so it's yep. developed pretty uh, well. Mm -hmm. This is what the bottle looks like, but let's just get into a picture as to what it really looks like and then let's get this started. Alright, so we're back. What are some of the notes that you get out of this one? Uh, so when I first put it onto my skin, it was initially quite light and as it developed it actually got stronger on my skin. Uh, I spoke to Chad actually, the notes that I picked up were tobacco and a little bit of amber and the amber really give it a like a smooth resinous feel and I told Chad that actually reminds me a lot of uh, CK Shark, especially the tobacco. Um, personally for me I didn't really pick up too much oud so I do feel like this is quite a safe option, uh, definitely a uh, very western style fragrance for me, All right. uh, it's not very middle eastern and I think it's quite a safe choice if you're going towards a oud fragrance for myself personally. I'll have to admit though when it comes to the ouds I really, this is one of my least favorite yeah. or least liked notes I should say, this was actually a little bit better Mm -hmm. So when he said that he wanted to do this one, I was like really reluctant because <laughs> you know it's yeah. a little bit heavy, but it's done a little bit better. But you said that there was tobacco and mm -hmm. what? Uh, an amber that I got. Okay, a resinous so, amber. So I think it's just your skin because yeah. those two notes are not listed. No, no. So, so I didn't actually know the notes apart from the oud. Okay, the so the top amber. notes in this one are oud, which for me stays pretty much the whole mm -hmm. duration of the fragrance. And then there's on the mid there's elemi resin. Olibamon, Rose, which I get, Caraway and Saffron, which I get as well, forgive mm -hmm. uh, that, that's probably Raj, <laughs> and the base is Ladimum and Leather, so okay, yeah. So maybe the tobacco is yeah. that leather itself. Um, me, I get too much Oud, it's, it's again, but it's not overly strong, it's not actually not. somewhat pleasant, mm -hmm. some Rose, something spicy, yeah, the which, Saffron, and I get a little bit of a smokiness with the Leather. Mm -hmm. uh, seasons, what would you say? That this I'd is? say definitely autumn or fall, this one I can yes. see, and uh, possibly winter as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, occasions, what would you say? Okay, uh, you're the oud yeah. expert here. Not <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm an expert on oud. Uh, for me personally, I'd wear this day or night. Personally, it's more of a nighttime fragrance. Uh, you could wear this formally. Uh, I would personally wear it on nights out when you're dressed up quite nicely. All right. Uh, and I could even see myself wearing this to work. Because uh, I tend to wear my heaviest stuff at work and I wear it to the office. Uh, I would definitely wear this to the mosque. So on Friday prayers, uh, this will be a fragrance I would probably reach out for. So when it comes to occasions, I really wouldn't know because <laughs> I'm, I don't wear oud again. Um, it's, but however, it's not a bad scent. Longevity was 10 to 12 hours on my skin with projection being about 2 to 3. And this is just a little splash bottle. Mm -hmm. Uh, prices now online, uh, so th it goes for 30 to 35 USD, so that's about uh, 20 pounds. Wow, that's 20, British, cheap, 20 British pounds. 20 British pounds. But our department store, the Bay or Hudson's Bay Company, it's kind of like uh, you heard of Macy's? Uh, yeah, for, for, okay, us, so. for a 100 ml, and that's the only size that they come in, minus a 10 ml splash bottle. You're looking at 145 Canadian or 90 pounds. So it's about 90 pounds at Harrods because it oh, is wow. exclusive at that's Harrods expensive. here in London. Uh, the girlfriend absolutely hated it. Uh, she does not <laughs> like oud. But uh, most people thought it was masculine and just okay. So, any final thoughts on this one? Uh, when, I was, when, I, when you first told me about doing this review and you said it's Ferrari, I, I didn't have many high expectations, but actually wearing it is actually really, really nice. Okay. Uh, it's quite pleasing to me. I don't find it overly like daring. Or At most, ouds can be quite funky, but this one was quite... Uh, quite resonant and quite sweet and quite smooth actually so I personally really liked it. But this is not for me this is actually for you so you yeah, could have you. the rest of it so <laughs> thank you very much for doing thank this you. video with me. No problem. Thank really you. do appreciate it so guys that's it for Ferrari Essence Oud with we're seeing from Huntsman Smiles. So if you like this video please give it a big <laughs> thumbs up share the video and we'll see you later. Thanks see for you. watching.